Hey everyone, this is Michael again, and welcome to another movie review. And today's movie that I'm going to review is Justice League, and stars Ben Affleck, Amy Adams, Gal Gadot, Ezra Miller, Jason Momoa, Ray Fisher, Jeremy Irons, Diane Lane, and J.K. Simmons. And the film was directed by Zack Snyder, and this is the fifth installment in the DCEU. And I watched the movie today, and I liked uh, the film. Uh, it's not a great or perfect film by any means. It does have its problems, and you know when you watch the film, uh, you can see, you know, you can see like the problems. Uh, you know, you can see like the problems on on screen uh, that you know the film had because uh, the film. Uh, had a rushed production. Uh, Zack Snyder hired Joss Whedon to come in and write scenes, and you know they were to be, you know they would be filmed during the reshoots, because uh, the film had to go back and do uh, reshoots. Uh, Zack Snyder ended up leaving uh, the project because his daughter committed suicide, and so Joss Whedon was hired to. You know, oversee the remainder of the post production, and he also uh, directed additional scenes that were written by him, that were written by uh, Whedon. But uh, Zack Snyder received the uh, the director credit for the film, while uh, Joss Whedon uh, received uh, the screenplay credit. So, but uh, the film is about Bruce Wayne, Batman, played by Ben Affleck. And he enlists the help with Diana Prince, play, you know, Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman, played by Gal Gadot. And they both work to recruit a team. So, you know, they bring in uh, Barry Allen, uh, The Flash, played by Ezra Miller. Arthur Curry, Aquaman, played by Jason Momoa. And Victor Stone, Cyborg, played by Ray Fisher. And they all, uh, all of them must save the planet from... This villain named Stephen Wolf, uh, played by Sarian Hines, I think that's how you pronounce uh, his first name, uh, to save the planet from Stephen Wolf and his army of parademons. And there are also these uh, these mother boxes that are separated and hidden in locations around the planet. And Stephen Wolf wants to retrieve uh, these mother boxes. And pretty much that's basically uh, what the plot to the film. Uh, is about uh, still uh, during the film uh, in the beginning of the film uh, the world is still mourning of uh, Superman's death because uh, Superman is still dead uh, you know when you see uh, the beginning of the film during the you know the opening credits but uh, I'm not gonna reveal a spoiler uh, you all would have to watch the film uh, to find out you know what happens later uh, with that but uh I thought the film had a good cast. Uh, ben Affleck uh, was uh, good as uh, as Bruce Wayne, Batman. Really looking forward to the standalone Batman film with him in it. You know, with him reprising his role as Batman. Uh, Gal Gadot uh, was really cool as uh, Diana Prince, Wonder Woman. Uh, I think she looked really she looks really pretty uh, in the Wonder Woman uh, costume. Uh, Ezra Miller, uh, who plays uh, Barry Allen, The Flash, uh, he did okay. Uh, he was really, his Flash was really funny. Uh, he wasn't bad, but I, would, I prefer uh, Grant Gustin, who plays uh, The Flash in the, uh, the CW uh, series. Uh, I would prefer him, and I would also prefer uh, John Wesley Shipp from the short-lived 90s uh, Flash live-action series. Uh, both of them, like I said, I prefer over Ezra, Ezra Miller's uh, performance as the Flash. But like I said, he didn't do he didn't do a you know he wasn't bad as uh, he wasn't bad as the Flash. Uh, Jason Momoa, who plays Aquaman, thought he was uh, thought he was uh, pretty cool. Uh, even though Aquaman is not ev not everybody's favorite DC superhero, 
but he did uh he did okay. Uh, looked the role uh, for Aquaman. Uh, Ray Fisher as Cyborg, I really liked. Uh, hope to see. Hopefully, down the line, they do a standalone Cyborg film uh, with Ray Fisher reprising his role. Uh, would like to see that. I would like to see uh, a Cyborg film. Uh, Jeremy Irons as Alfred. Uh, he was uh, he was pretty good. Uh, Syrian Hines as uh, the villain Stephen Wolf. Uh, thought it was uh, thought it was pretty uh, pretty cool. Uh, the action scenes I thought were uh, were pretty uh, were pretty awesome. Uh, CGI was you know okay at was okay at times, uh, but this was supposed to be. A two-part film uh, with the second with the sequel coming out in uh, June 2019 but it got it has been delayed because they want to do the uh, the standalone Batman film which you know let them take their time with the uh, with the sequel uh, with, you know Justice League 2 let them take their time uh, because I really would like to see the uh, Really like to see the uh, the Batman film uh, with Ben Affleck as uh, Batman because, uh, like I said, I really in, I really enjoy Ben Affleck as a uh, as Batman as Bruce Wayne also, and uh, it was uh, announced that Zack Snyder will return to direct uh, the Justice League sequel, and J.K. Simmons uh, stated that the studio is working on a sequel script. Alongside the uh, the Batman, you know, standalone Batman film. So that's gonna be a uh, that's a uh, pretty good news. And the film has a budget had a budget of three hundred million dollars. It's now making five. It's now making five hundred seventy six million dollars at the box office. Uh, the budget of three hundred million dollars is stated. As you know, this film is stated as one of the most expensive films ever made. So that's uh, that's pretty uh, interesting. And uh, you know, like I said it says here it has grossed 576 million dollars worldwide and has received mixed reviews from critics. So it says the action sequences and performances were praised while that was perceived as a thin plot, weak villain, and overuse of CGI were criticized. Well, Stephen Wolf, uh, the villain, uh, I had no problem with that. I thought, you know, it was a very, I thought it was an interesting villain. Uh, the plot, yeah, it, yeah, it could have been, it could have been better though. Uh, but, you know, I was fine, I was fine, you know, what we got. So, but uh, yeah, so Justice League, it's I like the film. Uh, it's not a great film by any means. It does have its problems, but uh, it's worth the watch. You know, it's worth checking out. Uh, it's worth checking out for what it is, though. But uh, I enjoyed. Uh, like I said I enjoyed the characters. Uh, it's got a good cast. So, but uh. Check it out. Check out Justice League if you want to. Check it out for what it is. So, yeah. So, anyways, that's it for my review of Justice League. Thank you all for watching. And uh, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment, subscribe. And until the next video, I'll see you all later. Bye.